Welcome to another edition of The Final Set. I'm Max Tain. Coming up on this edition, we'll take a look at the final standings in the Big Ten Conference. I'll sit down with head coach Kevin Hambly, and we'll give a send-off to the departing senior class. But first off, let's take a look at how the Illini finished out the final stretch of the season. Now, two weeks ago, the Wolverines and the Spartans came to Huff Hall. Illinois started the week by trying to improve to 2-0 over Michigan State this season. The outside hitting duo of Liz McMahon and Jocelyn Burks combined for 40 kills. Despite winning the first two sets, the Illini fell to the Spartans in five sets. Michigan then came to town to try to spoil senior day for the Illini. Senior setter Annie Lurson was having no part of that and notched 47 assists. The Illini defeated the Wolverines in four sets. The following weekend, the Illini hit the road for the final weekend of the season to take on Northwestern and Iowa. The Illini headed north to face in-state rival Northwestern. Liz McMahon hit 415 and notched 30 kills as the Illini defeated the Wildcats in five sets, winning the fifth set 15-12. Later that week, the Illini headed to Iowa City to face the Hawkeyes. Jocelyn Burks and Liz McMahon each had 19 kills. The Illini beat the Hawkeyes in three straight sets. So now that the regular season is over, let's take a look at the final Big Ten standings. Illinois finished the conference season with a record of 8-12, with an overall record of 14-16. It was yet another dominant year for Penn State, finishing 19-1 in the Big Ten, 31-2 overall. Nebraska and Minnesota finished tied for second in the conference at 15-5 apiece. Now earlier this week I had a chance to sit down with head coach Kevin Hamley to reflect on the 2012 season. Let's have a look. All right, Coach Kevin Hamley, welcome to the final set. Hey, thanks for having me. Cool. So can you just reflect on this senior class and what they meant to this team for the last four years? Uh, they pulled out some pretty amazing stuff in their time, you know, and with wins and losses and, uh, well, not losses and necessarily amazing, but they, with the, the runs that we've had. And, um, but, you know, and people will talk about that, certainly that, that was, they had a big part in our championship run or going to the national championship game and, you know, two Sweet 16s years before that. And, uh, you know, I think they averaged something like 24 wins a season, which is, you know, nothing to, nothing to take that lightly. But to me, the impact she had, they had was much more off the court, uh, they helped us kind of refine and develop a culture that I think everyone's really proud of. It's a culture that where everyone takes care of each other and that uh, it's not necessarily just about wins and losses. It's much more about uh, the individual being treated in a manner that is with respect and that everyone has an equal voice and everyone's the same. And uh, I think uh, with this group in the four years, and it's, you know, they, they've been my, they're my first group of freshmen, I'm very proud of what who they are and what they are in that time. What was it like for you to see them grow in your eyes over the four years? It's, I mean, it's awesome. That's the best part about the job is to see them change and grow and develop as people. I mean, I know uh, a lot of people want to believe that this job is really about just wins and losses, and um, it's so not. I wouldn't do this here or do it anywhere. In the college level, if it was just about wins and losses, it's much more about developing human beings and, or, and and some of that is just getting out of their way and letting them grow and reminding them of who they want to be and help them kind of find that and uh, uh, it's it's really fun to see a kid like Jess Jendrick who was it's at times had a difficult times articulating her opinion and be able to like get a dialogue with her and have great conversations and see her with the group um, you know kind of be able to lead the group in a lot of different ways and uh, I just feel like every one of them grew in, 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 in their own special way. They became who they are. Uh, they're better because they're a part of this program and because they're part of the university. Uh, they're better at being themselves, which is really cool. I know this season is not really the way they wanted to end their college careers. Do you just want to recap this season? I, I th it, was, it was a hard season. You know, I, we, I felt like we have talent and that we are um, we're going to be uh, successful in the future, you know, and, the, and it's hard because you don't want to look to the future. You want to give everything you can to this group right now. And um, I felt like we were close. We were really close to, uh, in a lot of matches, and we had a lot of opportunities. We just, we, we didn't execute at the times when we needed to, and that was the, that was the key the whole season was just we couldn't execute at the, at the big moments. And, you know, you play 13 five-set matches, that's, you get a lot of experience in that. And I think we're going to grow from it moving forward. But it's not how we wanted in for the seniors, certainly. 
what can you take away from this season to build upon for next season? I mean, I think we found a, a way that we want to play with the group of players that we have, and we were able to figure out what their strengths and weaknesses were, and we realized that if we can refine our game a little bit more and if we could keep our errors down and learn how to execute at a high level, that we could play with anybody in the country. I mean, we had a lot of teams on the rope. Are you already looking forward to next season? Are you excited for it with the recruiting class you bring in and the young players that are still around? I'm, yeah, I am. I feel as strong as I ever have, especially just at the end of the year, how we ended with the way that Jocelyn and Allie and, uh, you know, the, the redshirt freshmen were playing and then uh, um, Anna Dorn, you know, she was out, but she was playing at a high level. and. Um, I, I really like moving Lizzie to the left and how that looked, and we'll have to explore that more. But all those pieces, just you look at it and go, I'm really excited for the next season and feel like, you know, we, we get to host a regional here and um, a lot of things. We're going to go on a European trip and take the team there, and all those kind of pieces are going to help us develop, and I feel like we're going to have a great season next year. Do the seniors that are leaving have any future uh, playing professional? They certainly could if they wanted to, um, but... Uh, none of them are going to go pursue that. They all have these their careers in mind and things that they want to do. And so at least the last conversation I had, which was a couple of weeks ago, with I think Taylor was the only one that was kind of on the fence. But I think they all want to get jobs and get into the real workforce, and um, which I would say run away from that as far, long as you can. But they're, they're eager to get in there. And, um, and they, they're really bright kids and have great aspirations beyond you know their time here, which is it'll be fun to see how the, where they end up and uh, what they end up doing in the future. Coach Kevin Hambly, thank you for joining me on the final set. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Now, earlier, Coach Hambly mentioned how much this senior class gave to this program on and off the court. Here is a closer look at the senior class of 2012. When I don't know if words can, can describe what it feels like to put on that jersey for the first time. I think when I did it, just because of where I'm from, it's such a small town, it was, it was a really cool thing just to you know, be able to put on the colors and be able to say, hey, like I'm in a line I know. All I waited for was a chance to make you understand. This experience has been absolutely amazing. Like when I started playing volleyball in seventh grade or so, I never thought that I would be able to get to where I am today and play on a team like we have today. So it's it's literally a dream come true. By Kramer, Davis. Tries the right side and Drews is blocked. So it's a point for the Hoosiers. Larson attacks on two, says take that. Serving specialist who's also really stepped it up defensively. Serves an ace. There you go. In terms of the team, like we are we're very close on and off the court. Everyone's everyone just gets along great and I mean we hang out with each other on the weekends, we basically were like each other's best friends. Illinois Volleyball is a family because we're there for each other through the good, through the bad. We have each other's backs and we're there um, if we need comfort. Being a part of this family, there's no conditions. They'll, everyone will be there for you no matter what you're going through. They'll support you when you're on top of the world and when you're on the bottom. We've gone through a lot together and it's really amazing, I think, like how different we are, but at the same time how similar we are and just how we mesh. And you know, these, these guys have become a home away from home in so many different ways. So it's, yeah, just another one of those perks of being alone. I'd like to say thank you just to the girls on the team <laughs> making this the best experience I've ever had in my life these last four years. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to my teammates First of all, they've helped me through a lot. Also to the coaches, they helped me grow as a person. And lastly, my family, who's traveled, you know, so many miles to come watch me play. Uh, well, I'd like to thank my parents. I, they've been supportive of me through everything I've done. And I'd like to thank my siblings as well for the same thing. Um, even in times when I haven't believed in myself, they have. Larson quick in the middle. Jendrick takes a swing, and Jess Jendrick puts it away. Swing dug out by Wolf, and then Larson scores on the block. I'm going to miss my class a lot. I mean, I don't think I'll realize how much I'll miss them until we're actually apart from each other because we've spent close to every waking moment together for the past four years. What I'm going to miss most is definitely the people that surround it, the staff, the players, everyone that we work with has been a big part of this family. 
the thing that I'll miss most is just my teammates and the culture that we have here. And, uh, I think it's kind of a rare situation that you can get along with legit like every teammate on your team. It's an amazing thing. So I think I'll miss that most. I'm gonna miss my teammates a lot. These guys have done a lot of different things throughout the years to, you know, make it feel like home and that includes the seniors, you know, when I was a freshman, they, they really made it uh, a great place to be. I'm gonna miss the team and the coaches. Um, just going into practice every day and seeing everyone and being a part of the program. I just, I'm gonna miss it so much next year, not going to practice every day, not traveling with the team, not being a part of it, missing all the girls, I mean, they're my family. That will do it for our season finale. For everyone here at the final set, I'm Max Tain, and we will see you next season.